surf region. Margaret River is a surf region. That's why we came down here. The 60s and 70s was discovered by the surfers, really, and before that was just uh, dairy farmers. So we're all down here surfing, and over the period of time, what goes with surfing? A good glass of wine. So then we're migrated from surf to wine. <laughs> I guess that's really Well, I mean, the days the, that actually the surf was not up, yeah, yeah. we would all doing? pile in the car and go and look at all the wineries that were around. And, you know, the kids would be saying, do we have to do another winery? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. And that was so true. Well, Howard Park kicked off in 86 and with 200 cases of Cabernet and 200 cases of Riesling. We've actually got two cellar doors because we started down in Denmark, which is another strength of ours, I think, because exactly. we're not actually tied just to Margaret River. I mean, when we started in 1986, and Jeff saying with the um, Howard Park Cabernet and Riesling, it started in the Denmark Agricultural College, which was just a shed. So I know. It's effectively, we started in a shed down in the Great Southern. Um, but Good yeah, point. we start, then we grew the cellar door in Denmark, and um, we moved to Margaret River, and we have a cellar door and a lovely winemaking facility here as well. I find it really exciting because, as a family, we're able to create this from the beginning. I mean, the site was a, a gisted horse uh, farm years ago. And it was not really, you know, looked at as vineyard land when we looked at it first off. Um, John Gladstone, actually, who is a... Um, He's issue, a yeah. he, viticultural scientist and, yeah. and probably is the founder of the wine industry in Western Australia. With, he he um, came to the conclusion that uh, Margaret River had terrific soils and the right sort of temperature to produce Cabernet and Chardonnay. Mm. and uh, they were the, the varieties that um, were originally planted and probably the initial success have come about. So, I mean, we're very happy with our uh, Howe Park Abercrombie um, Cabernet, which is a Cabernet from Margaret River and, and uh, from Mount Barker. And Margaret River gives uh, Cabernet uh, power and um, fruit uh, depth and uh, Mount Barker gives elegance and structure. And putting the two together, you get a, a fantastic, um, long-lived, uh, elegant Cabernet. Our Riesling is, is a classic from our point of view, and what I particularly like about the Riesling and being sourced from the Prongrups in the Mount Barker region is that you get very low yields, but you get a minerality in, in, in the Riesling, and you get a raciness, and you get a zinginess, which is very focused, and I think for Riesling it's important to have a very, very strong focus. So it'll age really well, uh, mm. goes great with seafood, and it's, it's, it's one of our, um, well, probably our, one of our most recognised wines. Yeah. We've got every year, ex um, back to 86, uh, in our museum stocks, except one, 2006, we didn't make any, any um, uh, Howard Park Reds. Uh, it was a late vintage, uh, the grapes were still sound, but then um, the, fin you know, the vintage closed out, started raining like today, uh, and uh, grapes are still out there and still green. We've got a lot of loyal customers with their Howard Park Cabernet. Uh, to make a green and mean Cabernet would have been very detrimental. So that was a real painful blow financially, um, but it was the right thing for us, and uh, it was the right thing. And I think family businesses can take those decisions. Well, you see, it's our reputation, so right. why bottle something that you're really not confident about? But karma works in beautiful ways, because yes. after 06, we've had 07, 08, 09, and they've been fantastic. So, you know, who, who's to say? <laughs> and you've had a lot of critical acclaim as well. We've had a lot of critical we acclaim. We have, internationally. Actually, just recently, we just won an international award, um, the Concours de Mondial um, de Brussels, and and um, that's actually two, 2003 we won that as well. So the two vintages, 2003, 2005, for the Abercrombie, we've done extremely well. I mean, Well, we've, we've always had our, our engine brand, Madfish, which um, you know, is uh, our engine to enable us to keep uh, bringing different special parcels of fruit in to be able to grad gradually um, move, the, move the pyramid up and uh, to improve the quality of uh, Howard Park. It seemed obvious that the more fruit I can get to look at, the more fruit we can bring in from our own vineyards and from, we have a lot of specialised growers now um, uh, for various, re various regions uh, and varieties. Uh, and by pushing that, that up that, uh, and keeping those parcels separate, we've been able to improve the, the quality of Howard Park. It's, I've been passionate for Pinot for uh, most of my life and uh, um, it's, we've took five years to find a site down in the Prongrups and I've got a joint venture with a, uh, a friend from, from Burgundy, Pascal Machan, and uh, so him and I are uh, 
making some wine down there and it's uh, small quantities and we're um, very encouraged with the uh, first three vintages we've done together down there. I think with a reasonably new winery as well, you've, um, you bring a certain vitality and also um, you're able to kind of think outside the box a little bit and uh, to see what, what else is out there, you know. So uh, it's, it's You're not interesting. set by what has been done before. You can actually create it again. That's that word creation again. So mm, we can pretty. explore, create, experiment. And I mean, the, the biodynamic route is something that we have started and we're going to continue with that and we're t really absorbing that. Um, you know, the uh, whole green uh, factor and, you know, all our packaging and moving into that direction. So you can create things as you're going along. To be honest, these guys have set a really good template and working with them is a great learning experience and really all we need to do is follow that and then tweak it a little bit mm. to get to our own sort of you know style or whatever whichever way we want to go I mean, we're all completely different, but you know. That's true. I know, and that's exciting. We come together. Too. We don't expect <laughs> yeah. them to do what yeah. we're doing. They'll be creating their own. There's so many opportunities in the future, so we're not going to tell them what to do because they will take it to their own level, to where they want to go.